Welcome back to In Focus Kentucky. On today's episode, we're focusing on the bourbon industry's impact on the state of Kentucky. And I decided to make a trip to the city of Bardstown for our last segment to visit the historic Oscar Getz Whiskey Museum, a place that's described where art meets history. So many people do not even know anything about the Prohibition period, and this is the start of the repeal of the 18th Amendment, was the restart of the bourbon boom. Linda McCloskey has been the executive director of the Oscar Getz Whiskey Museum for less than a year and already has put in many hard hours to return this historic building back into a must-see destination. And so people can come here and get the background, and this is the only place where they can get the history that we have, and there's no other place. You can see, you know, when you go to all the distilleries, you can actually see how they make it and, and the different uh, bourbons that they have and do the tastings. But here you actually get the history of it, and you can go through and, and learn lots of things that a lot of people have never, have never realized that there's such a rich background to the bourbon industry. Linda says before she was hired to take on updating the rich history of the museum, the building sat dormant for years, but after several months of renovations, the doors are back open to the public with many history lessons to share. It tells the story of prohibition from beginning to end. We have like a timeline that will go you through, that will take you through the entire uh, prohibition era. We have life-size models of Carrie Nation, who was huge during the temperance movement, and she would actually go into saloons and establishments and break open their barrels and their bottles. She would have five or six ladies with her. She was a big lady. She was six foot tall, and she had a hatchet in one hand and a Bible. She had a revelation from God that she needed to rid the world of alcohol. So when she went in with a hatchet and her Bible, people just sort of stood back. They did not want to mess with Miss Carrie. Uh, we also have all kinds of bottles from pre-prohibition pre, uh, era as well as the prohibition liquor and so many of them. We may have one of the largest collections in the United States of prohibition liquor that we have here. So we are very proud of that. The museum also has a unique event hosting space where McCloskey says she fields regular calls from people who are interested in a vintage kind of spin for their respective event. A top priority, as I said, we're nonprofit. So what I like to do is we are going to renovate our chapel, which we are in the process of doing right now. We are open. We can have 80 people for a sit-down meal. We rent it out for small weddings and showers and reunions and get-togethers. If you have just finger foods, we have 160 that we can have here from the fire marshal. Dictates our numbers. We have a five-star restaurant that is below us that uh, fixes excellent food. So anytime that I need to have a function, he is more than willing to be able to help us and supply the food. Thanks for watching In Focus Kentucky. You can watch this or any of our past shows online at spectruminfocus.com and you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Just search at Mario Anderson TV to keep up with updates about this show.